serving you. Let's encourage them with a great <laughs> In the churches, the 257 churches in the Diocese of Liverpool, of all those churches, this is the one that takes longest to get to from my <laughs> So I feel a long way from the centre of the universe, but it's good to be here again uh, with you on this great day, this 150th anniversary. It's a bit scary when you're preaching here in the presence of previous clergy and years of experience and the present vicar, and they're all looking at you as if to say, you better get this right, Bishop. So I shall hope that everybody will be looking after me as I'm saying these few words. This church in 1868 was set up before the Diocese of Liverpool even existed. Liverpool Diocese came into being in 1880, and the first bishop, J.C. Ryle, was appointed at the age of 70, and he stayed for 15 years, and retired at the age of 85. I promise you, friends, that's not going to happen with me. <laughs> <coughs> that 
was a long time ago and the church was built in hope because people were moving into this area and communities were growing and right across the northwest that was happening and the church was moving with the changes that were happening in society and courageous people decided they would invest their money and their lives in bricks and mortar here so that there could be a heartbeat in the community. That was a long time ago. The Diocese of Liverpool came into existence just 12 years after this church was first used for worship. And since then, other things have happened and other ways have changed. And throughout that time, the church has tried to move with the times. We have two things before us. God, who never changes, and the world, which changes all the time. And so it's a privilege always to come and remember people's courage from the past when they stepped out in faith to build a new building, to establish a new community, to do a new thing for God. It is a privilege to stand in their footsteps. And memories in this church are strong. I've not spoken to all of you, but just a couple of brief conversations as I came in. David said that he remembers, your church warden said that he, he remembers when Stuart Blanche, Bishop Blanche, came here for the 100th anniversary. He was only a kid then. He doesn't look old enough, I do agree. But that's what he said. Nicola, just in case you don't know, Nicola works with me at Bishop's Lodge. Nicola is my executive assistant, which is a clever way for bishops to say, Nicola runs the diocese of Liverpool. <laughs> I just do what I'm told, and it's worked for me so far. <laughs> Nicola was confirmed in this church by Bishop David Shepherd. Many of you will remember Bishop James Jones, my predecessor to whom I owe so much. And now here I am, the Johnny Come Lately, to remember with you all those memories of faithfulness here in this community. And the readings which we heard are what you might call classic readings from the scripture. And most especially the Beatitudes from the Gospel where Jesus speaks of how we are blessed. And the way you know, the way that we are blessed as Christians can run in the opposite direction from the way in which the world thinks people should be blessed. Because in every community there should be a heartbeat. And for 150 years you have been that heartbeat. I honour you for it. That is your work. To sustain the life of this church into the future. So that God's people may be loved and served. And I as a bishop travel the diocese, it is my job to give charges to people, and I give you a charge. Be faithful to the impulse to do the right thing for a new community which had this building built. Be faithful to the impulse to serve the community which all those over the years before you have put into practice. Be faithful to your hopes. For the well, a big thank you to Trixie who's made it. Can we just thank her on behalf of the <laughs> Secondly, I'm not doing this on my own. I'm told there's someone all teed up to go, and here they are. So you two come up with me. Young lady, you grab hold of this, and you, young lady, you can grab hold of the other half of this. And we'll come around this side. And we've got our official photographer. <laughs> you hold tight. And you hold tight, don't do a thing till I say go. Are we all ready? It says on the top, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. We celebrate 150 years gone and we thank God for goodness. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father and the Son. Come down upon you all and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.